life. How the Spirit longs for you, provider of peace and destroyer of stress. Somehow healing with your sand that nestles through one's toes, magically sending vibes up the spine and into one's soul. Goodbye, Bangkok. Hello, Kosa Man. Guys, Andy Castro here with Monsters, and I'm here with my brother. It's Adrian, and we're on our way to Kosamet. See you there, baby. Quick shave, looking schmick. We're here at Kosamet, but unfortunately, my brother is not here due to him feeling a little bit ill. But hopefully, he can join us later on in the evening at night time. But we're at Alpai Beach and it's lunchtime. I'm hungry. We're at Sea Breeze Restaurant and let's get some a little bit tasty, shall we? One rye? Yes. Is a coconut shake. I love it. Let's see if it's as good as I hope. Mmm. Never disappoints. It's good because they chuck condensed milk in there, so it's quite sweet. And it has a bit of like a milky flavor. Uh, sweet with the coconut. A pinch of salt in there. You can taste that they chuck it in there, which is a very good balance. Oh, I love it. I love it. We got stir fried beef with garlic in, uh, I believe, like an oyster sauce. So, can't go wrong. Beef is my ultimate favorite. Let's give it a try. <laughs> That's so garlicky. Wow. No, no. How can you go wrong? It's beef and a lot of garlic and a salty, salty sauce. Wow. Exactly what I was craving. Oh, and the condiments have arrived. Let's see what yummy, yummy things we can chuck on this one. Mustard, sauce, pepper, parmesan. Parmesan. Some is pepper. Got the egg. I get the egg. Mm. Just smash it down with rice. You get that super salty flavor and the plain rice. Beautiful. Mm. Oh, now I got the egg on top, and we have to burst it. We gotta burst the egg. Let's check it out. 
Oh, check it out. Just put the egg everywhere. Oh, wow, wow, wow. It's like a marriage made in heaven. Egg yolk, garlic, and beef. Oh. <sighs> Mm -mm. The mixture of textures, obviously, you know, that crunchy little garlic pieces and the soft egg and the yolk and the beef is oh, man. hit the spot. After a really good meal, oh, I, I needed that, I really needed that. And the coconut juice just really refreshes you, you know, it gives you electrolytes. It's uh, nature's Gatorade. After that, we're at the lovely beach here, Ao Prao. Oh, so serene, so private, it's like no one here. Beautiful white sand. The water is just crystal clear, blue, a tinge of green. It's crazy beautiful. Ah, uh, that was a lovely beach. Let's see what else we got here. Looky, looky. They are, I think, building some sort of dam or maybe sewage system. I don't know, but it's a big project. Just rode past like, damn, what is this? I guess this is one of the good signs of Koh Samet being one of the more commercial islands out here in Thailand. And it could be an effort through the military government that seems to be cleaning up everything around here. So good signs, good signs, you know, preservation. The last thing that everyone wants is uh, Thailand to, you know, become dirty and everything. So save the planet, peace and love. Next pristine little coast beach is called Awang Duan. Oh, it's so good. It's like this little cove, U-shaped, beautiful beach. And I can't tell you the color of light blue that's in the water right now. I mean, hopefully my camera's doing it justice, but oh, this, this is beautiful. Ah, this little pier thing is so cool. It's like, ooh, going along with the waves. It's like, you're just trying to balance, balance. Ah, it's so cool, just jump off into the water. Ah. Wow, beautiful. I guess my impression is that it's the perfect balance between commercial and sort of closed off and still really quiet. Excellent, you know. You still got the choice, you know, if you want to eat something, uh, get one of the chairs to just uh, chill out on. So still got all your services, but in this like just beautiful beach and awesome setting. <laughs> this we're at Wai Beach and the next one over is uh, Hao Beach and the one after is what beach? No, I'm joking. Uh, this is uh, Wai Beach. This is my kind of beach. It's just so small, quiet, uh, you know you just feel like you're the only person in the whole world. You're in those castaway vibes you know I feel like Tom Hanks right now but oh, this is my jam really. I mean look at the water. Ah, so nice but Oh, it's really hot. I need to cool off. Ah, oh, the 
water is so good. It's just still. It's just still. I was I was star fishing it, you know, just for ages. I just like teleport into another dimension. Just uh, I'm just lying there. Oh, it's so good, and it's this amazing phenomena here, the water in Thailand, where it's warm, warm like a bath, really. And then obviously the further out you go, until the water's about here, and then it's like a bit cooler, you know. But if you just lie down there, then you know, feet level and lie down, you feel like you're in a in a bath. You know? It's awesome. Gotta get a quick sum to eat uh, because I'm gonna be hungry after all that swimming and riding around. So we're here at Isan restaurant. I can tell it's authentic mainly because the prices and just what's available is, is strictly Isan food. Isan's a northeastern region of Thailand that has like some of the, the best food, you know, like papaya salad, kayang, like the grilled chicken and stuff. Let's have this uh, authentic meal in this very beautiful setting. Here we have Pad Pikeng. This is like a favorite of mine. I mean, check this. Uh, look at the chili just engraved in there with the curry paste. And this here, that it's a it's a vegetable here, very common in Thailand. It's like a a very young tomato almost, but you know, more solid and not so juicy. Okay, let's try it out. Ah, ooh, I can smell that curry paste and the, the chilies, it's feeling so good. Let's try it out. Mm. Oh, that's good. Actually, you know what's the first thing I tasted? The peppercorns just perfumed my mouth straight away on the tongue, just went through. And then I got that lovely texture, you know, with the crunch from that vegetable. And obviously the other very fragrant thing was the basil, or the basil however you like to say it. Oh, it's just so fragrant, so many different tastes all at once with Papi Ken. I love it. Yeah. You just get these little chunks of chili just rolling around bam, 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 as you munch. Oh, wow. Oh, and the egg on top of the rice. I mean, look at this. We're gonna burst one more time the egg on top of the rice. Ah, check it out. That's what I'm talking about. And then, we gotta get some of the fish sauce with the fresh chilies and just get that in and around everywhere. Gotta go in with the egg and the rice. I think you can tell by now <laughs> this is one of my favorite things in life. Mm. <laughs> that yolk is just perfect. Perfect texture, you know, that creaminess that comes through. You get that crust from the outside, you know, because they just drop the egg in pure oil. And it just, you know, creates this crust underneath. Cooks so quickly. And the yolk stays so yolky and creamy. Mm -hmm. You know what I do? I take it like this, and I eat it. Straight up like this. Just straight up. Mm. Two peppercorns at a time. So good for you has anti-cancer agencies I mean this is a a natural beautiful thing don't be afraid <laughs>
guys, it's dinner time and I'm feeling some bones. So what I did is I just picked it out right there at the front, a pillow, there's nine of them. So I just can't wait, you know, you can't get more fresh than that, you know. One minute they're live and kicking and next, you know, they'll be all here ready to get eaten. Kit and food is the restaurant. All right. Oh my gosh, these are river prawns. You see how they got the long ass tentacles, see? So these are the river prawns and they're my favorite ones. I just find them a lot more sweet and meaty and the, the head juice is just off chop. So let's just take this out. Oh, la la. Ooh, it's so hot, it's so hot. Make it convenient for you because they take out uh, the poop trail in the middle, so they leave it open for you like this. See? Got it. Rice is here. We got the head juice, and I'm gonna dunk in this sauce because it's my favorite one. It's the lime chili and garlic from fish sauce. This is the the typical Thai seafood sauce. So let's have a go. First of all, can I say the texture is wow, wow, it's so meaty, it's like a steak. Oh, it's just chew, the chew on that is just so, so good. And second of all, it's juicy, like juicy, juicy. You still feel like the fluids from the muscles as it was kicking like, you know, three minutes ago. Ah, but not anymore. It's an empty stomach now. Second one, I think I've got a lot more chili on this one <laughs> this time. Mm. The lava, the brain lava, that just spreads out like that. Oh wow, really like, again, it's just like, bam, bam, you can feel the muscle fibers. It's, it's just so thick and muscular. Take a quick dunk into this other sauce, which I don't really know what it is. All I can see is that there's a lot of garlic, so let's have a go. Mmm. Oh, my prawn. Uh, what I can taste is soy sauce, fish sauce, and garlic. I think that's about it, but dang. That's a killer, that's a killer combination right there. I'm actually quite full. Like I just ate a steak, but really, um, there've been some meaty little buggers. Look at that. Watch, watch your eyes, okay? Watch your, watch your eyes. Half alive, but she's here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, 
I like his shirt. What do you think, guys? Do you like his shirt? So you just, you know, dunk it with this, mate. Yeah, just, you know? Oh, uh, man spoon. Wow, that's beautiful. What is that? That's a uh, clear soup with tofu. Very delicious. This is uh, called the steamed rice. Uh, steamed so, rice. Uh, rice in a bag. Uh, it's sticky rice. Sticky rice. Sticky rice. Very sticky. By the way, it's like I live off this stuff, you know. I just get the sticky rice and some grilled chicken or whatever, and I don't know. I, I just love it. It's just got such a Plain yet really deep flavor. I think that's what salt does. Anyways, it's, it's really good. Imagine like sushi, more sticky and like a, a media texture almost because it's just all compact into one, especially if we make like a little ball. I love it. You know, I don't know why, but the first time I tried this about roughly three years ago in Chiang Mai, I fell in love. And I was just thought, you know, thinking to myself, where have you been my whole life? Try the cayenne. Very sweet. Sweet, huh? Very sweet. I like it. The skin is beautiful. I didn't expect it to be that nice. Mm. I live for this. One thing my brother didn't mention. It's juicy. Very juicy and tender and it doesn't matter if it's the the leg the breast the chest the wing the doesn't matter it's still juicy and very very soft and tender how's it feel better ah doctor's orders you know it's beautiful ah just what i needed okay that's it for the loco hermanos i think it's all right ah. See how we go. Impressions is that you know out of all the islands I've been to, Koh Samui, Koh Tao, Koh Phangan, Koh Chang, a few more, I gotta say that this one has to be my least favorite. And not that it's a bad thing. It's just that every other island is so much more beautiful than this one. Even though this one's still beautiful. So like I'm talking about something that's you know so good, but it's just not as good as the other ones. You know. So if the other ones are 10 out of 10, this is a 9 out of 10. But it's still really good because it's close to Bangkok, right? That's why it's a good getaway for people that live in Bangkok, such as me. 
and uh, still beautiful, relaxing, and it provides everything that you want still. Another thing is that it's it's quite commercial, yeah, and you, you don't sort of get that castaway vibe that you do with the other islands. Just talking from experience, really, but still very, very beautiful and still has really good food, good Western food as well. So you can get the English breakfast in the morning and everything, you know. So how do you like the beaches, Adrian? The beaches were really nice. Uh, especially at night time when the sunset, really comfortable, you can rent a chair, you know, underneath the umbrella. They bring you fresh coconuts, uh, cocktails, you can eat fresh seafood right on the beach, right on the sand. And um, yeah, overall I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to coming back. <laughs> Alright, that's it for us this edition. Andy Castro and Adrian here for Munchsters. See you next time if you like what you watch. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like, share the love, see you bye.